Hi there, welcome to Sharky Dance. My name is Yame and every other Thursday I'm here on this channel releasing some belly dance related content to help you get started on your belly dance journey or to help you practice between classes. Today I'm here with something different and very special. I wanted to show you how to make your own Saidi dancing stick. If you've been belly dancing for a while, then by now you must be aware that to be a well-rounded belly dancer, it's important for us to know more than just belly dance. There are many different regional dances from throughout the Middle East and the Arab world that we should know as a part of our repertoire. And one such dance is Saidi dance. So Saidi means from Upper Egypt, which is a region in the south of Egypt known as Upper Egypt because it is a higher elevation region of Egypt. And some of the dances and traditions coming from that region involve dancing with a stick or asaya. In Arabic, rox asaya. And uh, today I wanted to go over one way that you can make your own stick for this type of dancing. I wanted to credit the person that taught me this. It was Karim Nagy, who is an amazing musician, Arab musician and dancer. And I'm going to link his uh, website in the description below so that you can check out his work. He is an amazing source for learning this dance as well. So all you'll need to do is head on over to your local home improvement store. They will likely have everything that you need. Uh, you just need to bring a pencil and that's basically it. So let's come with me and I'll walk you through how to make your own sticks. So you'll want to head over to a home improvement store, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever you have near you. Head over to the molding section and you'll want to look for some wooden dowels. Take note of where the saw and table are placed. You will need those and then find some dowels. Here I'm thinking these are the ones I'll wanna go with, but then I realized that there are some lighter and cheaper ones a little bit up further ahead. You will want a pair. I do recommend getting a pair so you always have the option of doing double stick. You will want to find the lightest possible type of wood that is available. Um, Home Depot has a very wide selection of lots of different diameters. Find a diameter that is less than one inch. And if you're brand new to this, uh, to stick dancing, you will want to get a thinner stick. If you're more experienced, you can get it closer to about an inch in diameter. And then you'll want to measure it at the height of your belly button and mark that with a pencil and then get to sawing. So um, I am not necessarily the uh, best person uh, to copy a sawing technique. I think I, I need to be uh, using bigger strokes when I'm sawing. You will get hot, so uh, there's that. I was making four sticks uh, on this day. I made a pair for myself and a pair for my friends. So I was sawing wood for quite a while and getting tired. Um, so yeah, you'll want to kind of lunge into it and press your weight forward and uh, make sure your fingers are away from the saw. Don't chop off any fingers. Uh, if you need, yeah, <laughs> I feel really strong every time I complete sawing off one stick. Uh, if you need help, I'm sure somebody who works at the store would be able to help you with this, but I recommend trying it yourself. It's always fun and uh, you'll feel really strong and accomplished by the end of it. So there you go, final stick is done. I feel very strong. And now on to our duct tape. Unfortunately, this time around, Home Depot didn't have a very wide selection of duct tape, 
Um, I, in the past, I've purchased uh, pattern duct tape from Home Depot that was a lot of fun and made into really cool sticks. This time around, they didn't have that, so I just selected this dark gray, almost black duct tape from Home Depot. It will do. But you can see here an example of previous takes, sticks that I've made over the years. I've got this uh, camo uh, pattern, this uh, blue animal print pattern, the gold and the silver are all duct tape that I have purchased from Home Depot. If you can't find those fun colors at a home improvement store, you can always check out craft stores or buy duct tape online. Um, this shiny one is from a craft store. This one, when I wrap around my stick, it, uh, I don't leave it textured. I leave it pretty smooth, but duct tape, I allow it to give it a little bit of texture. And then lastly, you've got this uh, silver and the gold sticks. Um, those were spray painted. I'm not going to go over spray painting today, but that is an option for you if you would like to use that instead. So here are some spray paints from Home Depot. Um, you can choose any color that you'd like or go with duct tape, which is what I'm showing today. Next, we have the sandpaper. So select a uh, piece of sandpaper or sponge. I went with this uh, medium grate uh, sponge for sanding off the rough edges. So I go to the ends of my sticks and I sand off the rough edges, as you can see here. And going through both sticks. And then next we are going to go into wrapping up the stick. So first I take a piece of duct tape and I put it on top of the stick and then I fold it nice and neatly around. I do that on both ends. And then I take the, I'm going to take the tape and wrap it around horizontally just to set that all in. I do that on both ends and then I get to wrapping the duct tape all around the stick. So first I start off diagonally and I wrap around towards the bottom. Um, I didn't like how that was coming out, so I unwrapped it and started over, and I think I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go like halfway there, and I'm not going to like how it comes out, and then I do it again. So you can play around with it. Uh, duct tape is kind of forgiving, so um, there. Yeah, watch me start over again. All right, <laughs> now this time, can we get it? Yes, so I angle it downwards and then I just spin the uh, stick towards myself, as you can see here. You can play around with your own method, but um, I do it in a little bit of a diagonal. And then I just keep wrapping the stick around. The tape, the sticky side of the tape is away from me and I'm spinning the stick around towards me all the way down to the bottom. Then I flip it over and finish it off, making sure I'm staying at the same angle. And then that is it. So that's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do end up making your own sticks, let me know how it goes. And if you'd like to learn stick dancing, I am going to link in the description below a bunch of different sources for people that I have learned from or that I really respect that are doing this work. And you can also learn a little bit from me on sharkydance.com, link also in the description below. I have belly dance classes available, I have upcoming stick dancing workshops available. So definitely check it out and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I will see you next time. Happy dancing. Bye.